Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install macOS Mojave on a Windows laptop. First, we are going to need some files from the internet, so let's download them. I will leave all the links in the description for you to make your life easier. Go to OpenCore package and download the latest release. Scroll down till you find the zip file. And just click on it. After that go to Rufus website and download from there the latest release also. Go to your downloads and extract the OpenCore package zip file from before. Open the OpenCore folder and click on Utilities. Navigate to Mac Recovery folder and inside of it you will see a Mac Recovery Python script. Open CMD as administrator. Type CD and copy and paste the path from the Mac Recovery Python script. Then hit enter. Now go to the recovery URL's text file and scroll down till you find the Mojave link. Copy the command and paste it into the CMD you opened before. Then hit spacebar, type download and hit enter. A new terminal window will pop up which will download the recovery files for Mojave. If you don't have Python installed, open Microsoft Store and download from there the latest version available. Now we have to wait for the download to be completed. When it's done close command prompt, plug in a USB drive with at least 4 GB of storage and open Rufus. From there select the USB drive. Under boot selection choose the non-bootable option. Leave the partition scheme as MBR and the target system as BIOS or UEFI. Name the volume as EFI, select FAT32 under file system and default size under cluster size. Hit start. Click OK and let it do its thing. Go to Mac Recovery folder again and there you will find a folder named com.apple.recovery.boot. This folder contains the files that we downloaded before, using the Mac Recovery script. 
Copy the folder and paste it to the USB drive after deleting the files from it, if exist from the roofers process. Wait till the process is finished. After that we are going to download the EFI file for our system. From here you will have to download the right version for your CPU. You can see your version by installing an app called CPUZ, mine is Haswell so that's what I'm going to download. Extract the EFI zip file. Open the extracted file and rename the folder inside it as EFI. Then copy the EFI folder and paste it to the USB drive from before. When it's done, unplug the USB drive and plug it to the target laptop. Go to your BIOS setup and change the boot order to boot from your USB drive. Your laptop should restart now. Connect your laptop to the internet via Ethernet cable. Hit enter to boot from the EFI. Wait for the laptop to boot up. Go to Disk Utility. Click on View All Devices. Select your hard drive and click on Erase. Name it Mac OS and hit Erase. After that exit disk utility and click on reinstall Mac OS. Click on Agree and select your hard drive. Click on Install and wait till the installation is finished. It may take some time depending on your internet speed and your hardware. It took me roughly an hour to finish this part of installation process so be patient.
I have sped up this part of the video. Your laptop will restart so make sure you choose the Mac OS installer option from the boot menu. After that your laptop will restart for the second time, so make sure you choose the Mac OS option from the boot menu. Now you have to complete the setup and after that you will be welcome to your macOS Mojave home screen. We have to do one last step to complete the installation. We must copy the EFI folder from the USB drive to the EFI in our hard drive in order to boot from it from now on. Type mount EFI in your browser and download the zip file from GitHub. Double click to extract it. Open the extracted folder and then right click to the mount EFI command to open it in the terminal. Find your hard drive and type its number to mount the EFI. Mine is number 1, but it may be different in yours. Then copy the EFI folder from the USB drive and paste it to the EFI of your hard drive. Click on Replace. After that restart your laptop. Press your F BIOS key to go to BIOS Setup menu. Change the boot sequence in order to boot from your hard drive from now on. 
Hit apply and exit the BIOS setup. Hit enter to boot to Mac OS. And that's it. Enjoy your new Mac OS Mojave laptop.